So I saw this tweet earlier for Star Wars Jedi Survivor. First off, if you don't follow me on Twitter or X, whatever the hell you want to call it, follow me at Mad Little Pixel. It's the only social media that I really use. So yeah, there's that shameless self promotion. I never promote myself as far as social media goes, but this is the only place I'm ever on as far as social media. Now, as far as this game, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, I was always kind of interested in playing it, but I haven't played it. It looked kind of cool, but I saw this. It says it's coming to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 on September 17th, 2024. Now, I've, I've been hearing all these things for a while now about how like half of like PlayStation network users and maybe even Xbox users like are still on previous gen consoles and how just this generation for Xbox and PlayStation, the adoption rate of jumping into these new systems, it, it's been going okay, I guess, but just not as good as they would hope, right? That people are still holding on to these previous generation systems. And I'm going to be straight up honest with you. This generation has sucked ps5 xbox series this generation has sucked if it wasn't for nintendo i mean just being honest nintendo killed it this generation they did they're they're weak ass hardware they, they've they've sold a buttload of them it's just ridiculous but you know nintendo they don't do what like playstation xbox does they don't get those kind of games because their hardware they, you know, their hardware doesn't play games like this. Jedi Survivor, Call of Duty, stuff like that. You know, Grand Theft Auto. So it's like, who's playing like the Nintendo Switch? I love the, the Nintendo Switch, uh, you know, but you people who they want to play these types of games, right? They want to play the games that I was just talking about. So a lot of those types of game players, they're going to PC nowadays where they're just sticking to their previous gen consoles because there hasn't really been much to sell people on this new hardware. It's just freaking nuts, dude. I have a PS5, I have an Xbox Series X and an S. I'm, I'm adopted into all this stuff, man. And you know, I, I look at other family members that I know and, and, and friends that I know, everybody has a damn Nintendo Switch, everybody. And then it's like, but then when they're playing other things, uh, like I, I have a, you know, like a niece and nephew that play like games with my kids, and I'll see like my my youngest son playing like Sea of Thieves, with uh you know his cousin, and I'm like, oh, he has an Xbox. Like, no, they're playing on PC, and it's like, oh, okay, they they don't have an Xbox. No, they have a Nintendo Switch and they have a PC. So a lot of people I know, it's like they don't have an Xbox, they don't have a PlayStation, they have a Nintendo Switch and a PC. So it's just it's. I don't know, the, the gaming, the world of gaming nowadays, like these consoles, just, you know, I wish things have gone a little different. I haven't been blown away by the PS5 or the Xbox, you know, series this, this generation. Nintendo Switch is just, I don't know. I, I've, been, I've been really digging what Nintendo's done, but it's just a weak system. So what are they going to do with the Switch 2? What are they going to do? And I know there's been tons of like talk about the Switch too. That's kind of what prompted this video today. Is I, I think this current generation sucks balls. And it was prompted by like I saw the Switch 2 was was trending today. And I started looking at different like tweets and what people were talking about. And then I saw this and it just kind of reminded me, like, because I, I started seeing things that people were talking about, and they're like, why don't people let go of their their old systems? Like, stop embracing this stuff. Like, this game isn't gonna run. This is a bad idea. What's wrong with finally moving on from 11 year old consoles? People just don't they don't want to move on because there hasn't been a reason to buy five hundred dollar hardware. I, you know, there really hasn't been. And for a, the longest time, like a lot of games were being released for both PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series. So they really like people weren't seeing a reason to move on. And then now it's like, okay, this game came out a while ago. Now it's being released on previous generation hardware. I, I don't know. But yeah, let, let's, let's take a look at some stuff that was going on with Switch 2 talks. I don't talk too much about rumors and speculation. Um, but sometimes it can be fun. This isn't so much speculation. It's just what was was trending at the moment. It just kind of, uh, today's just ranting and rambling, you know? 
But I can't scroll through, like, just going through the trending tab because, oh, my God, if you go on Twitter and you click on something that's trending, you're not just going to see that topic. Like, you go, switch to trending, you're going to see some nasty-ish that has nothing to do with Nintendo. I was like, I need to bleach my eyes. And I'm a, I'm a grown man who could deal with a lot of things. But there were some things that I was seeing that I just could not deal with. Nothing to do with video games. It's weird, man. So I had to pull up specific tabs to just, you know, things I wanted to look at. But so I've been seeing this a lot and talk like weird talks about, okay, massive failure, GameCube, massive, massive success, the Wii. And in all honesty, I like the GameCube more than the Wii, I think. I just didn't like the Wii. That was me. Uh, you know, but the, the Wii was a massive success. The GameCube, great system. But it sold like butt, dude. If you look at the numbers, it sold like butt. But then the Wii sold crazy. The Wii U came out, sold even worse than the GameCube. Like way, like less than half of what the GameCube sold. Like 13 million. I think GameCube sold like tw almost 30 million. Somewhere around, don't quote me on it. But it, it's, it didn't sell a lot. But the, the Wii U sold like 13 or 14 million, something like that. And then the Switch Oh my God, like it's coming up. Like I think US sales wise, very close to PS2 numbers. Worldwide, it's still, I think number wise compared to PS2 worldwide is still supposedly maybe 15 to 18 million away. So it's still got a distance to run. But Nintendo's next console, that's what people are like. It's Nintendo's like, they have this trend. Are they going to fail their next console? That's, that's, you know, People have been talking about I've been seeing these talks a lot lately, and they're like, oh, is Nintendo setting themselves up to fail? I, I don't necessarily think so. Nintendo, they've been, you know, they knocked it out of the park with the Switch. I've talked about this before, like with the Amiibos and the, the, the classic mini consoles, they put this fear of missing out and all this weirdness out there to where Nintendo was just, they created this atmosphere where people were just like, gotta have Nintendo. But it went beyond that, though. They took, like, what worked with all these previous consoles, and they created this. So, like, the successes and the things that worked with everything before it is what created this. So, I, I don't know. Like, things just worked out. Things worked out. But moving on. So, this individual, I don't know any of these people who I'm pulling up their tweets, by the way. This person thinks I want the Nintendo Switch 2 to have beyond better performance. Miiverse, Street Pass, Spot Pass, guarantee Street Pass, Spot Pass, none of that's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I can't guarantee anything, but I'm pretty much guaranteeing it ain't going to happen. Flip no stick. Like, you're asking for things that run the, you know, 3DS stuff or DS. It ain't going to happen. Flip no. These are all cool things, but it ain't going to happen. Home menu music, that would be cool. You can mute it or leave it on. That would be nice. But the biggest thing... That I wish, yeah, real voice chat. That would be cool. And Hall Effect sticks. That should be the future. But knowing Nintendo, it ain't going to happen. But it should. And then keep everything the current Switch has. I, ke I kept seeing this too. Sometimes you just need to look into the distance and ask yourself, who is that man in mom's room? <laughs> okay. But yeah, I would say Hall Effect, Joy-Cons, and real voice chat for sure. For sure. People, this person, people are all, I hope the Switch 2 is 4K. Bitch, I hope that games can just hold a consistent frame rate at genuine 1080p finally. I would agree with that. But the one thing I do want to say is when I first saw this tweet when I was scrolling through the, uh, menstruation, what the hell? Like these little, like, what's happening? I keep seeing weird things at the side. Menstruation, Meg, what the? I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Holy crap. But when I saw this earlier, People are, oh, I hope the Switch 2 has 4K. Bitch, it's just 1080p with consistent frame rate. 100%, 100% consistent frame rate. Because Switch right now does struggle with some things, right? There's some games that just struggles with that consistent frame rate. It struggles. I want that. I hope for that. 4K, though, Nintendo-wise, they, do they necessarily need that? But, I, you know, it just really depends on what kind of power is going to be behind the Switch 2 on if that's not if that's going to be necessary but at least enough power to be 1080 with consistent frame rate would be a hope right would be a hope but okay what was this this person this is one i thought like if the nintendo switch 2 is backwards compatibility with the original switch which switch game are you playing first on the new console 
I definitely went backwards compatibility just because it's just like one thing where it's like, okay, I don't have to worry about having my, my original switch plugged up and, you know, ready to go. I could, if I want to play a switch game, I have the new switch and I could just easily play it. But here's the thing. And I've said this before, I'm all for backwards compatibility. I, I love it. I think it's something that's great if all these companies can do it and support it. But at the same time, I don't buy a new system to just play my old games. I buy a new system because I want to play the new games. So if I buy a Switch 2, it's because I want to play whatever they're releasing for it. So I'm not going to be popping in any Switch original Switch games in that thing for a while. That would be the hope anyway that there's some good shit for the Switch 2 to hold me over. Like, you want to buy it for what it is at that time, and if there's some good stuff for it, and if there's not, then why buy it when it first comes out, right? There's got to be some launch titles that I want. Maybe there could be, like, Switch games that get, like, hey, there's these upgrades to it. That, maybe that would change, you know, the mentality on that, but I would buy the Switch 2 for a Switch 2 game. So it might be a while before I'd want to put an original Switch game in there. Then the last tweet. This one, the only way th th there isn't a Nintendo Direct in September is if Nintendo decides that month is for the Switch successor reveal. So they just say, like, there's been, like, these eight years that Nintendo's had a, a Direct in September. So the only way there isn't a Nintendo Direct in September is if Nintendo decides that month is for the Switch successor reveal. Um... I would imagine, like, if they do, like, yeah, there's been this track record. Would they have a direct in September? Probably, but it would probably just round out the rest of the year for Switch games. Like, I don't know that they're going to want to do a direct where it's about the successor right before the holidays because they're not going to release the Switch 2 Right before, you know, they're not going to release it this holiday season. If it comes out, it's going to come out like spring or summer next year. They might wind up pushing it further. I, I don't know. We don't know yet. Like speculation, fun, fun, everything grain of salt. Who knows? We don't know yet till Nintendo says. But I would imagine it's not coming out this year. So they're not going to spend a Nintendo Direct this year talking about it. They're because they want to sell more Switches. September, the uh, the the new uh, Switch Lite, the Hyrule, you know, edition Switch Lite comes out. Legend of Zelda Switch Lite comes out. They want to push hardware this this holiday season. Their hardware sales have dipped down a bit. They want to push hardware. So I would imagine Black Friday holiday season. There's going to be some sales. They're probably going to do the most interesting Black Friday holiday specials that they've ever done this year. This is going to be like their last push. I, I, I'm willing to bet, like, because we've never really seen markdowns, reductions in prices. I think after that Switch Lite comes out, the, the Legend of Zelda one, Black Friday comes along, we're going to see reductions and we're going to see price reductions on hardware. OLED and original Switch and Switch Lights. We're going to see some special ones. Black Friday bundles, and we're going to see price deals. Boom. There's going to be a massive push on hardware this year because it's going to be it. That's that's it. They're going to try to get as many pieces of hardware sold as they can. So I don't think they're going to talk about, you know, they're going to do a direct, but it'll probably be just winding down the last games that are being released this year into early next year. Because remember, there's already, there's still games being released that they've talked about. So there's going to be other things that come up. The, you know, filler games. So they'll do a direct in September. Just not going to be anything major. Nothing major. But yeah, there you go. I, I don't... What was the point of this video? Yeah, this generation sucks. Nintendo is it. Switch 2 stuff. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. What the thumbnail is going to be. Holy crap, man. Got some thinking to do. Bye.